shocking moment thug smashes a bottle of vodka over man's head in terrible case of mistaken identity. These series of photos show the shocking moment a thug smashed a bottle of vodka over a man's head after he wrongly believed he had spiked his partner's drink on a night out. James Atkinson, 46, from Portland and Dorset, spotted Sean Rose while the victim was cleaning his car outside his home. Wielding a 35 centiliters glass bottle of vodka he had just bought, Atkinson, who was with his partner, approached Mr. Rose and struck him over the side of the head with the bottle. The savage blow to Mr. Rose's head was so severe, the bottle shattered on impact. Atkinson then kicked out at Mr. Rose who was left with deep wounds to his chin. The broad daylight attack took place in front of several stunned residents, including children. Atkinson has now been jailed for five years after pleading guilty to wounding with intent. Bournemouth Crown Court heard how Atkinson had an unfounded grudge against Mr. Rose, suspecting him of wrongly spiking his partner's drink earlier that year. Edward Phillips, prosecuting, said Mr. Rose was left with a wound measuring around 5 centimeters in depth, running next to his jawline. Atkinson was arrested the day after the attack and later pleaded guilty to a charge of wounding with intent. In a victim statement read out to court Mr. Rose spoke of suffering from blurred vision, dizziness and migraines, as well as loss of taste and smell. He'd also started getting panic attacks, struggled to sleep and lost nearly a stone in weight. In a statement he said, I have always prided myself on being a big, strong man but I have lost my confidence since the attack. Sentencing Atkinson to five years behind bars, Judge Brian Forster QC said the attack appeared clearly premeditated, as the defendant had reportedly told Mr. Rose he wanted to bottle him at the Portland Social Club in March. The judge told him, your approach to the victim was quite menacing, and showed that you were out of all control. This is a very serious offense and goes to show the consequences when you take the law into your own hands. Lee Christmas, defending, said his client and hash x27 semicolon s grudge against Mr. Rose had been based on a sincere belief in the latter and hash x27 semicolon s wrongdoing, but he now accepted he was wrong and was truly remorseful for his actions. Speaking after the sentencing, Mr. Rose said he was pleased to see Atkinson put behind bars. He said, a dangerous man is off the streets and behind bars, which I and hash x27 semicolon am relieved about. I was hoping for a longer sentence, but I and hash x27 semicolon ll take this. I and hash x27 semicolon m jumpy, suffering panic attacks and I don and hash x27 semicolon t feel like the same person. I and hash x27 semicolon am glad to see him behind bars. It and hash x27 semicolon s the best place for him. Atkinson also received an 18-month sentence, to run concurrently, for his use of an offensive weapon in the attack.